you're watching this, you're all up in the weed. Smoke weed every goddamn day. You know what? I used to do that. Eight years of my fucking life. Four, eight, ten, twelve, half ounces a fucking day. You know what I did? I woke up, smoked weed. Simple as that. Woke up, smoked weed, went to fucking sleep. One after another. Bowls, poppers, whatever the fuck you do. You know what? <clears throat> People are all talking about legalizing this fucking shit. You know what that'll get us? People complain about our generation. You know what would happen to the next generation? They'd be fucking morons. Simple as that. Grade 8? Grade 9? I was a fucking smart kid. Simple as that. I used to be able to waltz into class, do whatever I needed to do. 90s. 95%. I had a 98 in math. Academic math. In grade 9. By the end of grade 9, I had a 61% in math. You know why? Because weed took over my fucking life. At first, you hear any pod ads, anything like that. You know what I said? Oh, that shit won't happen to me. No. You know why? Because I'm fucking, I'm, I'm Rick. That shit won't happen to me. You're fucking lying to yourself. Simple as that. You're not fucking Superman. That shit will demolish your fucking body. Like, you see me? Do I look like I'm in shape? Well, I'm fucking not. Simple as that. Like, in grade 8, I weighed 148 pounds. Like, I'm... I'm 130... I may look like I'm in fucking shape. It's because I have no fucking fat on my body. All I did, I'd eat a bunch, but then I'd smoke weed. My body started fucking eating itself. Simple as that. Because you smoke so much fucking weed, you stop eating. You just wake up like, oh, you know what? You know what my plans are for today? I'm just going to smoke myself fucking stupid for 14 fucking hours. Try to sleep. Wake up after two hours and smoke myself stupid. That's all you do. You fucking waste. Wasting away your fucking life. You know what? Do you enjoy fucking your fucking girlfriend? You know what'll happen? You'll be useless. 30 seconds, one minute, you're done. Because you can't fucking handle it. Your body can't handle it. You're destroying yourself. And that's what'll happen. And she'll fucking leave you, because you'll be a limp dick little useless motherfucker that can't do shit. You'll just lay there like, oh, you know what? Another girl will come along. Guess what? She fucking won't. Because you're going into your fucking 20s, high as a fucking kite, ignoring your fucking life. You know what happened to me? 14 of my fucking friends died. Friends and family. And I was too high to fucking deal with it. To even comprehend fucking death. Now you know what I do? I sit there thinking about all the funerals I missed. Thinking about how many goodbyes I missed. And then you know what happened? One day, I'm just out with a drive for my friends. Simple as that, just sitting in the back relaxing. And then all of a sudden, deep in my fucking stomach, I felt my whole body condense into itself. Slowly moved up into my chest. I felt like I was having a fucking heart attack into my neck. I couldn't fucking breathe. I couldn't fucking speak. I was having the worst fucking panic attack of my fucking life. And you know what? I've had panic attacks before. I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I fucking deal with that. This panic attack was worse. Worse. A lot fucking worse. It got to the point... Where every single part of my fucking body felt like it was being jabbed by fucking needles. And I couldn't stop it. We were just driving down the road. 
and I was sitting in the back, literally thinking I was going to die. And luckily, my girlfriend looked over. She asked me what was going on. We were about 20 minutes away from home. It took me 55 minutes to get home because every 10 fucking feet, we had to pull over and I had to get out of the car because I was going like this. I couldn't fucking handle it at all. And you know what happened? A week later, it fucking happened again. Another week later, it happened again. And then finally, the last fucking straw, it happened on the way to work with my boss and the new guy we were going to start working with, my fucking new partner. After that, I was stuck in this fucking town for two fucking years. And if you live in a fucking farm town, you know there's nothing to fucking do. I was sitting in this town for two fucking years. I was 20 years old, I'm fucking 22 now, and I'm still dealing with that fucking shit. And you know what ended up happening? I sat out on Main Street, watching cars drive by, yelling at them. Because I was going so fucking stir crazy that I couldn't deal with people driving past me like they weren't doing the hardest fucking thing in their life. Think about that, seriously. I wasted the two greatest years of my life. You know why? Because that's the transition you're supposed to have from partying and having a good time to starting your fucking life. You know what I got to do? Sit in this fucking room depicting if I should jump out the fucking window head first. You know why? Because life wasn't fucking worth it to me. Simple as that. I wasted eight fucking years of my life smoking that fucking weed thinking like, oh, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You're starting to legalize it. This and that. You know what? Fuck weed. You know what I would do if I could? I'd fucking burn every last fucking bit of it, throw it out in the fucking ocean so you kids didn't have to fucking deal with what I went through. Simple as that. Like right now, I'm legitly so mad that I know so many bright fucking kids are ruining their fucking life. If I found out my brother was smoking weed, I'd beat him to a fucking pulp. And you know what? If you came up to me right now and said like, Oh man, like weed's fucking amazing, this and that. I have a scholarship, I can fucking deal with this. I'd beat you the fuck right up. I'd fucking demolish you in front of your family because they won't fucking do it. Because they look at you like, Oh, he's a bright fucking kid. No, he's fucking not. You're smoking weed like a fucking tool. Simple as that. Like, I ruined myself. Don't fucking do it. Simple as that.